Hey guys, another right death here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be busting 10 myth in Roblox Studio. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first myth is you can own infinite plugins. So let's go ahead and log into an alt account so I don't so I don't have to uninstall hundreds of plugins. That would be kind of unfortunate. Pick the dice pair whose sides add up to 14. I don't want to do math today. I can barely see these numbers. Like, what are these numbers? Incorrect. Bruh. Seriously, all of that and I get it wrong. That literally took five minutes. All right, so I finally managed to get logged in. Let's go to the plugins tab in the toolbox. And let's just download every single free plugin that we can find. All right, we're already 15 plugins in and it's showing no sign of stopping. Okay, I've downloaded like 30 plugins at this point and my game is starting to really lag. Part counter plugin. I wish there was a plugin counter plugin. That would be very useful right now. So far, I have 111 plugins. Just look how ridiculous this plugin bar is. That is so many plugins. I'm going to keep going for a little bit and. What in the world did- what? Did I just install a virus or something? What just- what happened to my Roblox? 118 plugins, I think. Or is it 128? I don't know. I lost count. Well, I think it's pretty much safe to say you can have infinite plugins on Roblox. Like, maybe- maybe there's a limit to it, like 500, but I'm not gonna go that far. So let's just say, myth confirmed. All right, myth number two, there's no limit to how big you can scale a part. Let's go ahead and insert a part here, and let's just go ahead and scale it really big. Oh, and already, it looks like can't go any further. Yeah, you, you already can't make it longer. Myth busted, this is the biggest you can make a part. I think it's actually the size of the base plate, it looks like. Yes, yeah, the size of the base plate. All right, bonus myth. Is there actually a way to bypass that restriction? What if we do it by like manually setting the size right here? Like a million, by a million, by a million. Nope, still the same size. Okay, well we can't do it like that. Maybe we can bypass it through a script. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see if the size changes. Uh, oh, oops, it's supposed to be vector Bruh. three. And no, the size did not change at all. All right, I made the part really, really small and I put it in a true loop. So let's go ahead, maybe now it'll work. And uh, nope, I guess there is no way to bypass the restriction. It's busted. Alright, so myth number three, there's no limit to the canvas size and the scrolling frame. So let's go ahead and add in a screen GUI and starter GUI. And we're gonna add in a scrolling frame real quick. We can just scale it up. So we're gonna be changing the canvas size, which is basically how far down you can scroll. So like you can move it to like four or three and you can see now you can scroll down farther. Let's go ahead and add in a local script so we can make this like really, really big. So we can do script dot parent dot canvas size is equal to udem2 dot new. We're gonna do math dot huge comma math dot huge comma math dot huge comma math dot huge. I'm not even sure if this will work, but let's go ahead and play it. And we have an infinite scrolling frame in all directions. How would you even scroll through this? It's so much. It's, it, you, it, it's you. so much. It's also really buggy. I like, can't even do anything. I made it a one directional infinite scrolling frame and you still can't really do anything. I just want to test something. What if I add like a bunch of frames? It just completely breaks. Oh, myth confirmed. On to the next myth. All right, myth number four. You can have 100,000 lines of code in the Roblox script. I'm actually curious to see how this will work. So let's go ahead and add in a script and we can just copy and paste print hello world 100,000 times, I guess. Let's make this a little bit faster. All right, 25,000 lines of code, 50,000 lines of code, 90,000 lines of code, 100,000 lines. Of what in the world is going on? For some reason, all of my lines of code are just white. Oh, what, what is happening? Oh, never mind. It's, it's surrendered now. Okay. 
It was just bugged for a little bit. All right, let's surround this and see if they actually work. I'm probably going to crash, aren't I? Oh my god, it actually printed Hello World 104,000 times. Look at all those Hello Worlds. Well, not all of them are here, I guess. It'll, it'll only save like 100 of them. There's so many. I think this actually has like a lot of potential to it. Like you can make a game with only one script. I think that would be really, really cool. Anyway, myth confirmed. On to the next myth. All right, next myth is you can delete the player. So I have my poor innocent player right here. And you know what? I don't like him. So we're gonna delete him. So let's open up the player tab and we got our player here. Let's just hit delete. Uh, I'm gone. Well, myth confirmed. You can indeed delete the player. Myth number six is you can duplicate the player. I'm gonna start by duplicating the character. Uh, well, that doesn't work. It just creates a... Uh... <laughs> An NPC version of me. All right, so what if I actually duplicate the player itself? Oh, you can't. I'm clicking Control and D, and it does not work. It's busted. You cannot duplicate player. What did I just do? Oh, I just duplicated the base plate like 500 times in accident. What? That's so weird how that looks. All right, myth number seven. You can have infinite leader stats, and they'll be all listed right here. So let's go ahead and add in a script in the server script service. Alright, so we have one leader stat so far. Let's go ahead and see it. Yep, we just have our coins right here. So let's see how many coins we can make. Alright, so I've gone ahead and made this simple loop. It's going to repeat 999 times, and each time it's going to create a new leader stat. It's going to set the value of it to be coin, and then the number of times it's looped through so far, and then set the value of it to be that as well. The number of times it's looped through, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. Let's go ahead and test it out. And so we got him lagging a bit. All right, let's see. As you can see, I have four leader stats only, but it's created 999 leader stats. There's sadly only four display, so that's kind of sad. So myth plus myth, you cannot have infinite leader stats. So now myth number eight is you can actually have negative leader stats. So I'm just gonna use the same script right here. Instead of doing a leader stat thing, the value equals i. Let's just go ahead and do negative i. See if that works at all. I'm not sure if it will. All right, myth confirmed. You can definitely have negative values in your leader stats. I actually did not know that. All right, bonus myth. I'm just gonna see if there's a limit to your leader stats. So I'm gonna do uh, leader stat thing the value equals the math dot huge times math dot huge oh, and my coins are just at zero to get rid of this part all right still doesn't work instead of doing math dot huge let's do nine 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 which is the equivalent of math dot huge no still at zero all right bonus myth busted you cannot have an infinite value for your leader stats all right next myth an object can be parented infinitely. It's like a block inside of a block inside of a block inside of a block and so on basically. So just see, just add in a part and then duplicate that part and then put it inside the part. On and on and on and on. No, I think that'll take too long. Let's see if I can figure out a way to script this. Okay, I'm not sure if this will work or not. I'm hoping it does. Let's go ahead and see if it will though. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the game real quick. We have a part inside a part inside a part. I think it's working, guys. Uh, part inside a part inside a part inside a part. Oh, and then it just stops. Alright, guys. It took some experimentation, and I highly doubt this will work. Let's go ahead and see if it creates infinite parts for us, please. I'm lagging. I think that's a good sign, right? Maybe a sign that it's working. Oh god, it's not a good sign. Stop the game, stop the game. Oh my god, stop the game. I'm gonna close it and hope that my script saves. <laughs> Alright, I'm back in the game. Let's see if my script is there. Yes, my script is still there. Okay, let's make this a little bit less of a disaster. So make this do 99 for now. That should work better. Try to run it again. And hopefully it doesn't crash this time. Right, got my block back. 
I think the problem is the script is duplicating itself. So I'm gonna put the script into workspace this time. Let's make it a smaller number, like two. All right, this time it should work. We have a part inside a weld, inside a part, inside, oh my God, it's still going. It's only supposed to repeat itself two times. This is so ridiculous. And it's still going. Well, I think that's myth confirmed. That is so crazy that you're allowed to do that in Roblox. I don't think that should be allowed. Like, look at all this. And I'm actually surprised my script worked as well. Like, all right, our last myth, you, the player, can reach the skybox. So I'm gonna choose like a worse skybox, skybox that's easier to see the corners of. All right. So can we reach the corners of his Shrek skybox? The Shrek is much better. All right, so let's add in a script to start our character scripts. Or not a local script, a regular script. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Alrighty, so I modified the script a little bit. Hopefully it should send me high now. Uh, is it working? I think so. I think it's working. Falling five. I'm, I'm getting 500 studs higher. And I'm definitely getting farther and farther away. I'm 37,000 feet in the air. But this, this, it doesn't look like the skybox is really changing. Like, I'm not really gaining any height. 5,000. Nope, it does not look like you can reach the skybox. I'm the highest you can be. Look, it's a hundred thousand feet. It can't go higher than that. So we did not leave the skybox, but we did learn that the maximum distance you can get from the spawn is a hundred thousand. So that's pretty interesting. I can finally get rid of my Shrek background. Oh my gosh, so ugly. Anyways, guys, that is ten myths in Roblox Studio. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. But thank you guys so much for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.